What is up guys, it's Roll TV, Team R for UL. We're back again in the garage and uh, and what we're doing this time around is I've got a 2014 VW Passat 2 litre TDI and we're gonna go ahead and replace the oil cooler housing, okay? The oil cooler housing and, uh, sorry, the oil cooler and the oil cooler housing, it's all part of the same job. So if you're replacing the oil cooler housing and if you want to replace the oil cooler, same thing. So anyway, I've done a similar job the throttle body cleaning uh, on the VW Passat but this time round what we're going to do is exact, pretty much similar job but we're going to do the oil cooler housing it's leaking through there we need to get on and do that let's do it right, first things first I'm going to take this cover off That's off. Oil cooler is there. The housing is basically where the oil filter sits on. That's what we need to replace. But to get at it, it's, it's a little bit difficult. So what we need to do first things first. First things first. We'll take the air, air, air filter off. We don't need to take the complete air filter off if you don't want to. But I think it gives us a bit more room. We'll just take the whole thing off. Bang. Take these off here. Pull that off on the side. Basically, let's take the air filter off and uh, then we can get more access. What we do now is we're going to take this throttle housing off. At the same time, if you want to give the throttle housing a clean out, you can do so. So we'll take that off. Take this wire plug off. First things first, take the wire plug off. Take all that off. We'll take that Jubilee clip off. There's another one down there. Take that one off. Right, that pipe is off. As you can see there what we're going to do now is two things one we're going to get a cloth put it over that pipe because you want you don't want to drop even though we're going to tear that pipe off you don't want to drop anything in there and then you know make your life more harder right so uh, what we're going to do is we're going to take this this one off the dipstick housing bolt 10 milli take that off and we've got three torques let's see if i can get the camera in there uh, you can just make that out there torques 30 i think take them that one off another one there and there's another one I think if you can just make it out down there as well yeah so we'll take them three off so that throttle housing comes off gives us more room all right I'm on the last bolt here I've took that 10 milli off as you can see that's moving the bottom two are off so the last one on the top just take that one off this throttle housing comes straight off as you can see there's one there one there which I've took taken off if you look underneath, basically it's there. Can you see it? Make it out. Yeah, so if you look underneath, if, if, the, car, if the throttle housing's there, they will be underneath. It's very hard to show you while it's on the car. So anyway, that's off. What we're gonna do now is, we're gonna go ahead and take this off, Torx 30. Take this pipe off here. Okay, so a little Allen key there. Torx 30, two bolts there, one there, one there. Make sure you don't drop them. And uh, that will get out of the way. That's out of the way. If you want to, which I am going to do as well, you can go ahead and take this pipe off. Don't take it off. Basically, take that 30 off. Torx 30. Torx 30. Take that one off. Move that out of the way. So basically, we can gain access this way directly to the oil filter housing, the oil cooler, and the oil cooler housing. Right. This pipe is out of the way. That's out of the way. As you can see, I can get my hand in there. No problem whatsoever. What we're gonna do now is to make our life even more easier. Okay? What we're gonna do now, I'm gonna take this pipe off. Okay? One little clip there, take that off. That comes off. Now that way, we can gain access. Nice clear access to the oil cooler, to the housing. Happy days. Let's do it. Right. Next job, oh, that pipe's off. Obviously, we're going to lose the coolant and everything. If you can block it off, block it off. If not, we're going to re-top it up. What well, next job for us is, down there, guys, there's a little push-on clip. Okay, right down there. This is where I'm pointing at now with the screwdriver. We need to flick that off, and then the dipstick will move to a side. Okay, don't try taking the oil cooler housing off 
with that being on it, you're going to stab the dipstick holder. So basically, we need to take that little little cross there. Can you see there? Well, just point that. That part comes off, and then the push-on clip will come off, and then we can take that off. Right. Next job for us, guys, is see that there. Right there. You can't get to it through this way. It's a multi spline size eight, I think. Multi spline torques. Take that one off. There's another one on this side here. There, right there. Take that off. And then there, are the top two bolts. Then we're going to send the car up and uh, take the bottom two off. All right, guys. My bad. One thing I should have mentioned before you start doing anything: just crack that off. You know the cap, oil filter cap. Crack that off. Don't take it off because you don't, you don't want to drop anything in there. Uh, I know we're taking it off, but you still you don't want to drop anything in there and get it jammed in there somewhere. So take that off, I mean, slacken that off, and then when, after we'll take it off. All right, guys, the two bolts on the top, the torques, the multi-spline torques, I've slackened them, took one off, the other one's still there. This pipe here is very difficult to get to. The clips are very, very difficult to get, get at. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go follow this all the way around here under the air filter and it's there. It goes to there dead easy. It goes into the gearbox cooler, oil cooler. Uh, take that one off. Yep. And we're going to take that clip off there. We can gain access to that a little bit easier than the bottom one. And then hopefully we're going to take the bottom two bolts off, the multi splines, take the oil filter cap off. Everything should come straight out. Right, that pipe's off with great difficulty. It came off. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to send it up. Make sure if you're doing it on the floor, axle stands, jack it up. Make sure it's safe. Um, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to send it up and take the bottom two torques off, Torx multi spline, and uh, hopefully that should be that. Right, so there they are, the two torques, multi spline. I've just sent the car up on the ramp. I'll point them out to you in the edit, just there. And you can just make them out, both of them. We're going to take them two off. Hopefully, this oil cooler, obviously, we've got one more bolt on the top, which I've slackened but not taken off. We'll take that off. That's the last bolt, basically, because if I take that one off, then, you know, to hold it, it's going to be pretty hard. So let's take them two off, and then we'll go from there. Okay, the bottom two are off. It's there and there, they're off. I'm going to send it down now, take the oil filter cap off and uh, take the top bolt off. Hopefully, that should come straight out. Right, took the oil filter cap off. Last bolt is there. That's it. That should come straight out. Take that last bolt off. That's off. Hopefully now, what we're going to do now, we're going to manoeuvre it out. Try doing this with one hand, which is going to be really, really hard to do with one hand. But obviously, I'm going to get both hands on it. That way, uh, I can move things out of the way, and we're going to take that out. Right there, we have it. It's all off. What you could do if you want to make your life a lot easier, right? Um, is take this off, that clip off. Go around this side, and take a few screws off on this side. Okay, and uh, move this pipe out of the way. Okay guys, there's our new one, the oil cooler housing, okay, there's the old one, what we're going to do is obviously he hasn't bought an oil cooler with it, he should have, such a, you know, messy job, he should have changed the cooler as well, but anyway, we're going to replace that, to replace the cooler, dead easy, not rocket science, four torques, 30, one, two, three, and four, take that off, bang it on that. We've got all the seals, everything on there, so we don't need to mess them up with that. If you want, put a bit of oil on there, so there's less friction or anything. And uh, yeah, let's bang that on. All right, guys, there we have it. We've got the new one back in there. Okay, oil coolers back on. Oil filter housings back on. The oil cooler housings back on. I put that pipe on onto the bottom one. Obviously, feed it, feed it through there. That's going to go on to there. I'm going to put the other pipe on. Everything in reverse order. Let's get everything on. Bolt it, everything back on. And then, uh, yeah, that's it. Let's do it. We've got that bolt back on there, there, where I'm shining at. The multi-spline. 
top one is back on that one is back on as well the two top ones are on I'm gonna send it up put the bottom two on they're not tight obviously the top ones make sure you don't go tightening them up then obviously what's gonna happen is them two are gonna go on the bottom two might not line up so make sure you put them on finger tight send it up put the bottom two on and then uh, tighten them up then right that one and that one the bottom two are tightened I'm gonna send it down tighten the top one top two up and uh, finish the rest of it off home stretch guys let's do it right the oil filter housing the oil cooler housing is back on what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put the oil filter cap back on so I don't drop anything in there right I'm gonna run through it what we're gonna do fit everything in reverse order so basically put all these pipes back on this one here the one in there there's another pipe here which goes onto that put that back on I'm gonna put the throttle housing back on three bolts on the throttle housing the big pipe with the Jubilee clips uh, the dipstick that little clip down there make it out there just I'll point out there that one there that's gonna go on to the housing 10 milli for the dipstick there put the air filter back on basically basically fit everything in, in reverse order basically these pipes remember we took them off put them on them, uh, Torx 30 get some coolant air in the uh, expansion bottle some antifreeze check the oil level and uh, start it up let's do it let's finish it off reverse order let's do it Right there we have it guys, job done, car is running, I'm going to check for leaks, see if it's leaking or anything, it shouldn't, so far so good, um, yeah that's how we replace the oil cooler housing or oil oil filter housing on a VW Passat 2012-13 kind of thing, and uh, yeah, anyway guys, like, share and subscribe to my channel, hit the bell button for me, leave a comment in the comment section, I'll see you guys soon.